Well, good morning. My name is Royal, and uh, I'm in my front room in Hearst, Texas, having my first cup of coffee and doing my morning devotional. And I hope you're here to do it with me. I found that if I don't do my devotional first thing in the morning, there's a lot of times it doesn't get done. So it starts my day off right. And the way I do it is I pray the Bible because it keeps me focused in my prayer. I don't know about you, but I jump all over the place. It is the week of one of the weeks of Advent. It's the joy week, the third week. And uh, so all this week I'm doing scripture that has to do with joy. And uh, so today, uh, I think what I want you to know more than anything and what I've learned is that joy is a choice. This time of year, there's a lot of people hurting and it uh, may not feel very joyful, but uh, you know, the angels, when they came to the shepherds, they said, you know, we bring everybody joy and joy comes through Jesus. And the only reason you wouldn't be feeling joy is you're not choosing it. And, uh, and that's not a bad thing that means it's something that can be done because God gives you joy through Jesus Christ and and we when we choose joy it's just an attitude it's a, it's a way of being a part of of trusting God and knowing that God's in charge and that God can make things happen the way he wants to make things happen and that we're a part of that big story and today we're looking at uh, the fact that scripture says we are citizens of heaven so we should live our lives in a certain way because of that and, and if we do that, we choose that, then we choose joy. So I want to start off first with the Lord's Prayer, uh, just to get our hearts ready. Father in heaven, may we keep your name holy today. May we keep it above every other name. May we serve you today in every single thing that we do, Lord. Would you give us what we need to be who you want us to be? Would you forgive us of our sins and would you point out the things we're doing wrong that we've kind of forgotten so we can ask for forgiveness for those. And Lord, if somebody hurts us, may we forgive them instantly so that we're better and not bitter. And Lord, would you protect us from temptations and the negative influences that are around us all the time? And Lord, we will give you glory for every single thing that happens, everything, the good and the bad, because we trust you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. So today I'm in Philippians 3, verses 18 through 20. Philippians 3, verses 18 through 20. Listen to this. This is just very interesting. And I don't think we think about being in this situation or being these people as Christians. And, and if you're not a Christian today, this is what Scripture tells us, that we are as Christians. For I have, the Apostle Paul writes, For I have often told you before, and I say it again with tears in my eyes. This is bothering Paul that Christians aren't being who Christians should be. That there are many whose conduct shows that they're really enemies of the cross of Christ. In other words, there are many of you who are Christians who are not acting in a way that would influence people toward Jesus. Instead, through pride and misbehaving, doing bad, whatever, you're running people away from the cross. They're looking at you and going, hey, you're a Christian, and I don't want to have anything to do with that. So he says, it bothers me. It really bothers me. It brings great tears to my eyes. He says, they are headed for destruction. Their God, little g, is their appetite. They brag about shameful things, and they think only about this life here on earth. Verse 20, but... We are citizens of heaven. Christian, he's writing this to Christians because of Jesus. Where the Lord Jesus Christ lives, we are citizens of heaven where the Lord Jesus Christ lives. And we are eagerly waiting for him to return as our savior. You know, I've always told my kids, you represent us, you represent family. When you're out there, you're not just doing things for you, you're doing things that represent the family. And that's what Paul says here. You are representing the family, the way you do business, the way you act in public, even the things you do uh, in private that mess with you so that you don't do well in public. Uh, you are representing the family. You're citizen of heaven. Here's my prayer for today. Thank you for making me family. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for making me family. I will represent the family well. No matter what I do or where I am, I will love God and love people. I will be patient, 
kind, generous, and forgiving to all people. I will be a person of positive influence to all I meet. In Jesus' name. Hey, that prayer and that scripture are in the description of this video. And uh, I hope that's encouraging for you. And I always mean to be encouraging. The Word of God encourages and changes our lives and our heart. Please pass this on to others you think need to be encouraged. I look forward to reading your responses and replying to them. And uh, I will see you tomorrow, Friday, if the good Lord will and the creek don't rise. But until then, love God, love people, and you will change the world. Thank you. God bless.